Hello, my name is David Back. I'm the engineering manager here in Mentor, Ohio. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the process used to develop the new YZ125 piston. So to create a new YSCO part, the first thing we're going to do is obtain the OEM part from the manufacturer. It's usually a new part directly from them, or it's a part that's new from a customer. We'll do multiple things to analyze that part to create a new design. Things like the barrel and ovality of the skirt. Uh, we're also going to use a 3D scanning arm to get some geometry off of the dome of the piston and other features if need be. So there's really three main ways to make a piston. You have castings, you have billets, and you have forgings. So here at Wiseco we do billet and forged pistons. Castings are good for OEM applications, but when it comes to increasing power levels and durability, you really need to move to a billet or forged option. Forgings are going to be for more of the high volume parts and they're going to offer a little bit more strength. The difference between most of them is going to be the grain structure of the aluminum. So castings are going to have really small, tight grain structures which lends itself to a little bit more fragility in the field, so cracks can occur more easily, whereas a forged part is going to have much longer uh, elongated grain structure. That's giving it more strength, higher tensile strength, higher yield strength. So the new YZ125 piston was designed, engineered, manufactured, and forged right here in our Mentor Ohio USA facility. So unlike other manufacturers, we have complete control over the whole process here. So everything from R&D to when the part leaves the door at the end. While some other manufacturers might rely on third parties where either they're forging in a different location or they're sourcing their forging from overseas, we have complete control here all in the same building. And that gives us flexibility to make changes on the fly if we need to make improvements and lets us keep the quality control that we really want here. All right, Jay Clark here with Dirt Bike TV and Wisco. And so today we're going to talk a little bit about the 22 YZ125. Uh, Yamaha finally updated this bike and got some really good updates. It has a key in carb, which we've got jetted well with our JD jetting kit. That's helped a ton. The stock jetting wasn't great. We got that dialed in. It comes with a V-Force reed cage, which is really nice. Um, and the, for the piston, we wanted to make sure we were really dialed in. And so, uh, and there wasn't any pistons available stock. And so when you have a 125, they like pistons and rings. So we wanted to make sure we had a good setup and Wisco made us a good test piston that we got about eight hours on this piston and everything looks great. Uh, we had a bunch of different uh, size and skilled riders uh, riding this. Uh, Martin Costello, we had him riding. We had some footage of him riding out at Cuia and, and then we raced it at the two stroke race with a bunch of us all riding it and had a great time. It pulled me around. He's way too big for a 125, but it's a blast to ride. Piston's a little bit lighter than the stock one and pinned on center with this new style. Uh, additional cooling holes and lightning holes in the piston. Uh, got the Wisco coating, and uh, as you can see, it's running really well. Um, and so it's been good. We have a new one in here. We probably wouldn't even be changing this other than the fact we want to send this back to Wisco. They're going to inspect it, make sure everything's looking good as they're finishing up the production run of these. Hey, my name's Ryan Now. I'm engineering manager here at Wisco, and we're currently in the R&D department. So when we get a piston back, uh, a lot of things we're looking at is the piston crown to make sure that the burn was good. We'll do a Rockwell hardness check to make sure that the hardness of the material wasn't lost or the engine was overheated in any case. You can see we can look at wear patterns on the skirt. The wear looked really well. There was no streaking or significant spots that picked up on, at the cylinder. So the other thing we look at is our mating components. So the, the pin fit looked really well. There was no excessive wear there. So when we have a part tested and it comes out looking good like it hasn't been run at all, it's, it's further validation that our skirt shape is really well that the coating's holding up really well. A little bit about the coating is it takes up a little bit of the clearance to the bore in a running engine. So in a two-stroke especially, it helps eliminate some of that noise that you hear with the piston motion. Uh, and it takes up a little bit of the clearance, which lets the piston rock a little bit less, which is, helps with the power. We received the part back and we were, it was really promising what we saw. The skirt coat held up really well. The, the piston shape worked really good. Our mating components worked really well with the part, so we were excited to see that part come back and, and get used through its first trial period.